Welcome vintage audio lovers and collectors. Uh, today I've got to show you my Akai uh, X360. Um, it's the machine which is um, well, at least 50 years old now. And by looking at, you may say, it's just come out of the box. Yes, it does look that way. Um, it is absolutely immaculate condition. Uh, there's no scratches, no dents, no damages, any sort of the faceplate. Everything looks like a brand new. Um, there are some little marks uh, on the casing, um, all due to storage and uh, who knows why, but it happens. It, the machine comes also with the front cover, which is wooden cover, and uh, clip on the hinges here and then lock on this side and the cover is also in good condition um, but there's absolutely nothing to compare in terms of the front uh, I um, I love it and I'm very happy with this um, machine wasn't working very well to start with and um, did have a few issues and my colleague my friend who's an electronic engineer uh, he um, helped me with he replaced all bad capacitors. He rebuilt completely um, the board, which uh, it's known as a SIS control board, the one which controls all the functionality, uh, mechanical electrical functionality of the uh, electromechanical functionality of the uh, the whole machine. Uh, so now everything works flawlessly. Everything is perfect. Um, I'm going to show you today um, something which is very interesting on this model because this model is very well known so I don't have to go through all the details of it. Uh, one, would, one thing which I'd like to start with is the speed. Um, machine's got um, a semi-professional uh, speed of 38 centimeters per second and uh, this is um, very unique for that particular size of the uh, recorder and um, seven inch uh, reels um, not very popular with that speed but this one does have so it's all together four speeds um, I'm gonna turn the machine on now and uh, I'm gonna play a little bit of music uh, it's gonna be uh, music of Pink Floyd um, uh, unfortunately due to copyright uh, limitations uh, restrictions I cannot play any more than around 15 seconds each way. Um, why I'm saying each way? Because I'm going to use uh, this uh, auto reverse system, which calls reverse automatic, um, which can switch the tape midway. So doesn't mean I mean the tape doesn't have to go right to the end, and the sensing foil will come through and trigger the reverse process. Uh, this one can be set wherever you desire to. That means. Uh, at that point, I've got a little bit of about one centimeter of the tape on the right hand side, the rest of it's on the left, le left spool. And just watch what's happened. Okay, and I think it's all ready now. Okay. In about 10 seconds, you'll see what happens. Just about to now, yes, it happens. So it goes into reverse mode and we'll play in the reverse mode until the type rounds off the spool. Then the lever will drop down and the machine will stop. Um, there is something very interesting here uh, I'd like to show you now, okay? But I have to switch to the forward run. So I'll do the forward. And just watch what's happened. When the machine goes, the tape runs off, the lever comes down, and the machine stop. That's one part of this function. And there's a second part, which means auto shut off. Same process, the machine plays and gets to the end, the tape drop, and the machine switch itself off completely. That means um, you can set the machine up and running when you go to bed, then you fall in sleep and the machine will stop and switch itself off. You don't have to get up and just do it yourself. <laughs> so wonderful, wonderful feature. And uh, now I'm going to switch the uh, reels because I don't want to 
record anything over that uh, wonderful type. That's my favorite type. I like it very much. So it won't take long. I've got everything very well prepared, hopefully. So in this case, we're gonna have this is a this is a brand new type. No, I'm having a trouble to. Okay, got it. And uh, that type is gonna be used to record some music which is not copyrighted. So we can play with this for maybe a few more seconds. Okay. I like to stress that this is my first uh, video which I'm uploading to YouTube. Hopefully everything will go smoothly. So I'm going to rewind to give a little bit of time on type. I'm going to set up the uh, source um, of music. So switch to source. Okay, and let's go. Oh, by the way, I'll leave the cover for you to see how the cross field system works. We've got um, erase head, record head, playback head, and also bias head, which comes up and down. When the recording is set, it goes up. So you'll see when the record's finish, the tape's finish, tape comes off, everything will disengage. So it should happen anytime now. Watch this. Okay, so now the machine is switched off completely and there's, there's no uh, power. Okay, now I'm going to lift that lever up. Power comes back. So now we can close that. And I'll thread that tape back so we can listen the music again. And also you will see how auto reverse system works with the um, foil, which is attached to the to the leader type. Okay, one be second. The Sony reels are having a little bit of more difficult because it's only one entry to for the finger. Okay, so let's okay now we're ready. And we should see auto reverse system triggered in a, in a few seconds. Off we go. So now the machine will move in opposite direction and it will run until the type goes from the right to the left and then it will stop. The machine also has got an um, uh, automatic record level system, um, which uh, can be very handy, so you don't have to fiddle with the knobs, you know, to make a precise adjustment, but uh, in my opinion, it's better to do it yourself, you know, I mean, instead of electronics takeover. So, can be handy once again, but uh, not my favorite uh, feature. Okay. What else I can show you? All this functionality. No recording here, because as I said, it's a new type. Maybe something left over in the reverse mode. Yes. Okay, so that uh, reverse automatic, you can switch off and on. Now it's off, so nothing's going to happen, and off we go. That's, that's my um, Akai X360. I hope you like it, and um, yeah, uh, wait for the next video. I'll have something else to show you soon. Thank you, bye.